Russia, cotton imports. What's that going to do to our income? That's going to lower it. Uh, they've elected a new emperor. Same as the old emperor. Alright, development. Cost. This is still the cheapest place to develop, so we're going to continue to develop it. There we go. Do we have an institution spread penalty? No, we don't. Okay, Celestial Emperor is what makes the embracement cost more. That's what it is. Let's try to ease the tensions of the diplomatic insult that we have received. Oh, that's why our income went down, because we lost all that meritocracy, so now we're paying more for our advisors again. Tidor is a pirate haven, those fuckers. Students by purchase. Many would give much to be able to attend our prestigious national schools. To some rich families, this would be a way to ensure that their children acquire the social status their wealth should entitle them to. It has therefore been custom to, in times of need, reserve a number of spots at schools for those that can pay. Most will never take advantage of the actual opportunity. Admission itself in itself is enough to ensure the proper appearance. Um... Lose five meritocracy to gain an immediate boost of money. I think we come out ahead with that, just because we can repay a loan. And now, there we go. Now we're making three more per month. Anhalt is the new emperor. So that emperor didn't last very long, whoever he was. Uh, we need to split this army up, and you can go to Pagan. How much splendor do we have? We're about halfway to unlocking a perk. Oh yeah, we should be developing our capital. That's what we should be doing with all this extra power. So that we can get that big, big ass capital thing. Um, except that I think I might move the capital to Canton. So maybe we should hold off on that for now. Unless we want to have two really big, powerful cities. Alright, so we're out of debt completely, right? Cool. So now we're just saving up money for another Holy Roman Emperor. Are the Emperors just dying left and right? Let's. What does the HRE even look like at this point? Um, it's actually fairly large still. Except Brabant holds a whole shitload of territory. Brabant and... Uh, Commonwealth hold a bunch of HRE territory and are not members of the HRE. Um, and they've only passed one reform. Fifteen princes left. Yeah, they're 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 gonna fall apart. Ming's colonizing East Siberia. That will someday be all that they own. It's East Siberia and their American colonies. Truce with Dali has ended. How are our subjects looking? Um, Bengal still hates us. Yeah. We still have a truce with them. So 1722, they could potentially go to war to try to break free of us. So we're gonna make sure have to make sure that we're in a position to slap them down by then. Um, greater than base production and manpower combined. All right, well, let's do this. I'll start developing Ayat Haya anyway, even if it's not going to be our permanent capital. Oh no, oh no, Lubeck is now the Holy Ro Is Lubeck not a republic? Back. Yeah, they're a constitutional monarchy, apparently. So, good for them. Drama on the River. A Pearl River tax barge containing a significant share of this year's taxes from the southern provinces has been boarded and seized by criminals. The official responsible for maintaining security has reportedly suffered a nervous breakdown and is now locked up in his bedchamber, refusing to come out. 
We can lose money or we can lose mandate. I would rather lose money. <laughs> ah, we just can't get ahead financially here, can we? Um, let's see. Yeah, most of our most of our money's going to advisors, state maintenance, fort maintenance. We'll get there eventually. This will give us plenty of time to uh, bolster our mercantilism and get some development, even though we're not teching. Royal marriage from Korea. I will take that. Are we still allied with them? Yes. They still would not accept tributary, probably. Tributary... Yeah, they're still like a hundred away from accepting a tributary status with us. Come on, cheaper advisors. I hired expensive advisors so that we could eventually have cheaper advisor. Disagreeing advisor. Uh, one of our advisors, while having been a faithful servant so far, now they seem to have grown too insolent. The advisor dares to denounce our great Empress Consort Regent's policies and recently did so in public in front of foreign ambassadors. Even if there might be some grounds for these criticisms, we shouldn't let open criticism of the Empress Consort Regent become a habit. Um, yeah, we can, we can lose 10 prestige. That's fine. Man, we're going to be at max power projection for so long. <laughs> Hot chocolate. Fantastic. I like it. Um, yeah, we're just going to continue developing the province of Ayutthaya until it hits 50 development. Military leader has left us. Oh, ill news. We're still at max stability, right? Yeah. No marriage from Dully? No. We fight the past, it fights back. Dedication to a more liberal understanding of the place of the citizen and the state means that our neighbors have branded us a rogue nation, committed to undermining the traditional rights of the crown, church, and guild. All right, well, fuck you guys. Royal marriage offer from Jarkand. Do they already love us? Yeah, so no. Our influence on Machahabad Shabbat. We're going to cancel that. Uh, Shizu estate modifier. Lots of estate modifiers happening. Our armies are fully staffed, so now we're just waiting to get our pool of manpower back. And, yep, we're maxed out again. Getting close, getting close to that 50 development mark. Diplomatic insult against Tibet. Oh, no. Eventually, we're going to get to a point where we're capping out on military, too, and we can start spending that on development. Mapa Joppa it. Maja Hop it. Mapa Joppa. Maja. Let's see. Renew influence on Tidor. No. Come on, meritocracy. The, every time this ticks up, our income goes way up because we're paying so much damn money for these advisors. <laughs> All right, we're capped out again. I think we'll pull from whichever of these two we have more of at any given time. And we're also accelerating our income growth by... Uh, by doing this. Let's see. Absent merchant or we lose 10 diplo power. That's fine. Incorruptible. Death to spies. Fantastic. Everyone's spying on us. We don't spy on other people. It's impolite. These guys are all idle, so I'm going to put them on Great power, commonwealth. No, we're not going to intervene in wars in Europe. We're going to put this on allies. There we go. And then this guy, we'll put him on threatening countries. This guy, just stay on target owned subjects. All right. 
Once again, we're a little about halfway to paying off yet another absurd loan. And time to do some development. So now we have more mill power than we do Diplo, so we'll start paying out of that pile. Ten away from getting that uh, era objective. Yeah, I know one of my subjects is disloyal. Come on. Almost positive meritocracy again. Yay. Oh, we've capped out on military power. There we go. Probably jump ahead at least two techs in every category. Truce the Fijianagar in Bengal has ended. Failures of the examination system. Uh, the early examinations are corrected. Once again, only a few thousands of millions. Okay, yeah, so we've seen this event before. I'm going to go with the mandate option. As usual. As per usual. Nine away. And we got recovering economy. Fantastic. Rival of our rival is the Commonwealth. Um, oh, because Russia's our rival. And they're completely dest destroying the Commonwealth right now. That's why... Um, they actually don't rival us, I don't think. No, they don't. So, I will replace them if I can. Um, Spain? They're, they already hate us. They have a smaller army than us. Um, they're allied with the Commonwealth. Let's do this. Yeah, let's, let's replace Russia with Spain. Cost of 100 admin power. And, um... Yeah. Spain can... Spain can do their thing. Uh, what else was I going to look at? Uh, humiliate rival against Spain. Cool. We've lost humiliate rival against Russia. Russia... They want my provinces. Well, maybe we can maybe we can bring them around. I'm not entirely opposed to fighting them. I would just prefer not to. <laughs> no mission selected. Rival of our rival is the Ottomans. Who are they rivaled to? They are also rivaled to Russia. All right, let's reorganize our armies. Um, I only want four cavalry per stack, because cavalry are not really important in this era. So I'm going to pull off two of these guys. We're going to have kind of a cavalry exodus. Um, and then we're going to turn these all into 36 stacks. So they're going to be... What, two more cannons or two more infantry? Two more cannons is probably going to make the most sense. So we'll actually, we'll send all our cavalry back to the capital, and we'll keep them there in case we need to build new stacks, but otherwise, um, we're probably just going to end up disbanding them, so. Alright, 36 stack. I don't think we took any, like, big cavalry combat abilities, so it should be, shouldn't be too big of a problem to just disband most of these. Alright. And it'll give us manpower back. So these 18 stacks. Okay, yeah, this is this is what we actually need to use our cavalry on, is bolstering these 18 stacks. So I'm gonna send him up here. Bengal has foolishly broken the tributary state they had with us. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> so we need to make them pay tribute again, or should we go to war with China? Oh, shit. Well, that's exactly what I didn't want. Uh... 
Um, okay, well, we need to reorganize the armies and get on top of our shit here. Um, Bengal currently 23, 23, 25. So they're, what, three military techs ahead of us? Uh, how close are we to being able to get this institution? We're still pretty far off. Yeah, we're going to bite the bullet and just bump up two mil techs. Um, we've got to do it. It's so inefficient. It's hurting me. It's hurting my... It's hurting my heart. Um, I already use an Asian Mus Musketeers. They're going to have better cannons than us. Not much we can do about that. Um, so all these 18 stacks should convert into 19 stacks. If we have to keep declaring war to keep them our tributary state, that's going to be super annoying. Alright, you guys go back to Ayat Haya, you guys go back to Ayat Haya, you guys go back to Ayat Haya. Alright, so the new paradigm. Is going to be... Um, what allies do we have right now? I'd really like to be able to call in some allies. Tibet is not currently an ally. Why would they not accept an alliance? Because they're a vassal? Well, fuck them. Jarkand, Vijayanagar. Vijayanagar would ally with us, and they would royal marriage with us. Um, let's see. Improve relations with... Target threats. Let's take that off of there. Tactical genius. Awesome. Improvements in government technology. We'll use caution because we're almost capped. All right. Um, we're going to ally Vijayanagar. And we're going to royal marriage Vijayanagar. And we can't increase trust with them. That's all right. Um, intervene in great power wars. We're going to ask for military access. We're also going to offer them military access. Expanded examinations. Um, yeah, we could take one corruption for a little bit. Uh, all right. So, for, actually, here's what we should do. Let's detach all of our infantry from this stack. And is that going to make a 36 or 28? What are we missing here? Cannons? Let's detach all of our cannons here. Okay, so this is this is what our armies should have looked like. Supply limit's still so low here. When's the next time we get a supply limit increase? Twenty-seven. So we really can't we really can't safely run thirty-four k stacks, can we? We could run thirty-twos though. If we do four twelve. Maybe 4, 10, and 18. Actually, let's all right. Let's pull. Let's pull infantry off of here. The, this is this is what we should do. Let's check. 40, 36, 34, 31. Yeah, let's do 32k stacks. So this is going to be our new template. It's going to be a 16, 4, 12 army. And uh, bear with me while I reorganize all this shit. Um, so we're going to pull off. You guys can go hang out there. 16, 4, 12. Yeah. It's going to take just a little bit to 
get all these guys in line. The other thing is I think we might we might go to war with Ming first. And we're gonna we're gonna station a diplomat in Vijayanagar, actually. Cool. Alright, there's already a diplomat in Vijayanagar. Um China have any allies? No, they don't. Yeah, we'll go to we'll go to war with China first. Or with the Ming first. We are China. I keep forgetting that, that we are China. 